Hey, what's up guys? It's Checkmate Flips. Today I'm going to show you how I did over 100,000 in sales on just two ASINs. And in this, I'm going to teach you how I actually found this item and how you can actually create similar opportunities for yourself potentially. And I'm also going to tell you how to make the most of the opportunity through what I did. And then I'm also going to share with you the profits from this 100,000 in sales and some of the results afterwards. So I discovered this item around a year ago in around August of 2021. At that point, I was doing mostly retail arbitrage and some online arbitrage. I was transitioning from having sold books, restock limits happened, and so I transitioned to retail arbitrage for faster items. I was going to Walmart trying to find car speakers, the AVH120BT. And I was also selling 22 ammo uh, from the glass case in the sporting goods section. So that was a lot of what I was doing at that point. But I did talk about what I did as a reseller a lot. Like I talked to my family, I talked to my friends, I talked to my wife, I talked to a lot of people. And because of that, when my in-laws were going to retire from their business and sell their business building, they asked me to come help move the stuff out and get rid of some of the stuff and they were totally happy to let me sell a lot of the stuff that was in their office because they just wanted to move out and they know that I resold and they wanted me to be able to make some money since they were just going to get rid of stuff anyways. And so I'm helping them clean out their office and up until this point I had mostly just sold books and I had also sold stuff from Walmarts, stuff from Targets and like thrifted stuff. And so when I was in this office that they had been in for 20 years and looking up all the items that they had in this office, I was blown away because there is so much more than just books. There's so much more than just Walmart retail arbitrage. There is a big world of items out there. And I discovered just like books, there's a huge world of used items that people will purchase on Amazon. And so it was a cool opportunity because I was able to get free inventory and actually test the waters to see how well these items were either selling or ended up not selling and not have as much of a risk. That is one of the best things you can do in order to expand your knowledge. If you can get free inventory, whether it's your neighbor is moving or your family needs to get rid of stuff, that is a great opportunity to look stuff up, to do test buys and completely risk-free test buys. So a lot of these items they sold decently well, they were okay, but there were two items in particular that sold very well. I was looking up a lot of the items that were in this office. I came across two items that I actually was semi-familiar with. A lot of resellers use this item, and so when I listed it on Amazon, they sold really well. And so since these items sold basically just when they hit the warehouse, because there were only a couple units there actually at the office, I really wanted to get more because they sold so well and if I could even pay up just a little bit and purchase these and sell them back on Amazon, that would make a lot of profit. And so we come to the next section, how to make the most of an opportunity. And so this situation was actually that these items were recently discontinued and so Amazon in the past several years was in stock at a really low price, but now Amazon was never in stock and retail stores were never in stock. And so the price started to go up and up and up and up for this item. But the interesting thing is, is that you go on eBay to look for this item and you still see the last three months of this item being sold at the lower price. So this created a great opportunity for arbitrage. People on eBay had purchased this item and they had purchased it for a lower price and so they would just list the item at the price that they purchased it for but in reality the price was actually selling for double or even three times more on Amazon and so there was a really big markup that was available for a really long time buying from eBay and selling on Amazon. And so I knew that this item was selling well, I had sold it from the office, I had purchased a few from eBay and they continued to sell well for profit even after having purchased them off eBay and paying uh, significant money for these. So I knew that they were selling really well and I needed to get more of them. And so I really focused on getting as many of these as possible that would sell for me 
and I really doubled down on this strategy. And even though the eBay sellers eventually caught on to the fact that the price of these items were actually going up, they still were basing their selling decisions based on the last three months of eBay solds. And so after the quote unquote three months of solds with Amazon always being in stock and the price being lower were gone, they were seeing only slightly higher prices, but yet the Amazon price had also gone up exponentially as well. There was a lag time and a, a really solid several months of being able to purchase this item for a lot less and being able to sell it for much more. And I was able to take advantage of that. And so as this was happening, I was just coming off of selling books. I was coming off of retail arbitrage and I was only using my own money in order to sell these items. And so my budget was pretty limited actually. But come around November, December, I decided to start using some credit. And so I took out a 0% APR card for $10,000. Uh, that was a huge step for me at the time and purchased, probably spent all of that in like several weeks, uh, which at the time felt crazy. And now it, it feels decently routine. That helped me take even more advantage of this opportunity because there was a lot of inventory to be purchased and being able to spend more than I had for a period of time was really helpful. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it. I would recommend going really slow and doing your own research on credit. But after that, I took out even more money. I used more credit cards. I took out an Amazon loan. I really tried to milk this opportunity to uh, the max. And so eventually from the point of the start to around February, March, April, the eBay price of these items doubled and the price on Amazon probably three, four X. And so there was still margin. And so coming into the spring, there was a smaller margin between the eBay sellers and the Amazon sellers, but still a lot of the eBay sellers were going off the last three months of data. And so they would list their items too low. And if you were really quick about finding these listings, you could purchase them at amazing ROIs and just turn around and sell them back on Amazon and make really good money. In that period of time, getting good at finding the listings that are just going up for sale was a really important part of maximizing this. If you have a really good ASIN that sells really quickly and has good margin, like you can bet other people are going to be purchasing these. I know for a fact there was one guy who was also selling this ASIN that I'm pretty sure he just had Makari up for this item and he just sat there and looked at it all day because like stuff would get sniped almost immediately. And so being able to do that with eBay and having a really good item to do it for is really powerful. And so that's how you can really take the most out of an opportunity. And so now looking at the profit and the results of this. So we're just about a year later. I still sell these on occasion and so I can't necessarily talk about what it is very specifically, but it's an office product and a lot of resellers use them. So if you're thinking like you can probably figure out what it is. But over the course of the last 12 or so months, I ended up making $22,000 of profit on the first ASIN and I ended up making over 17,000 of profit on the second one for just under $50,000 of profit for these two ASINs. And by now, obviously I don't just sell this item. I have used this item and a lot of other items in order to find a big catalog of items that I can be searching for. Being completely dependent on one or two or three ASINs probably isn't the best idea, but when they do come up, you really should take advantage of them. So if there was a lesson to this story, it would be to talk about what you do. I know a lot of people on social media will talk about how talking about what they do and teaching people and being in conversation about what they do is so, so helpful. And again, that is so true. If I had been embarrassed, for example, about the fact that I was a reseller, or if I just wasn't passionate enough to talk about it with my friends and family, they may never have asked me to help them clean out this office and I might have still been going Walmart to Walmart looking for AVH 120 BTs. 
which actually wasn't bad at the time because they were $100 profit each. The world is so much bigger, and when you share with the world, so much more ends up coming back to you. So I'd encourage you to do that. Talk to your friends and family. Sometimes they'll end up having stuff that they were gonna give to Goodwill, but they're like, hey, well, this is easier for me if you just come pick it up, and like, you're my friend, so I'd rather you have it instead of Goodwill. Why not be that guy? Why not help a friend with starting their Amazon store, and then they happen to come across a crazy lead that they share with you, because they're wanting to repay you for all of the help that they did. That type of stuff happens all the time. It's gonna happen all the time for you if you end up sharing with other people the things that you know, the expertise that you have, and all of that. So I would encourage you to be sharing with the people around you, and if you can give value to other people, oftentimes other people's luck will end up coming back to you, and you'll end up almost getting repaid for what you gave to them. So I would really encourage you to do that. So if this was helpful to your business, then please feel free to help me out by subscribing to this YouTube channel. I'm trying to help you guys out as much as I can. Hope you have a great rest of the day and take care.